Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Boost. <laughs> I'm YouTube Famous Now, available in 2018. The merch shop listed below. On iTunes, the affiliate link. The Drum Opera soundtrack. Jacqueline Hill ran up the bill on Birkins and a car. She'll have to pay the bill somehow, so here come collabs galore. <laughs> I have been working on tunes all day long. All day long for my drum opera, Jeffree Star and Jacqueline Hill. Manny M.U.A. Nikki Tutorials. Photoshop's the world. James Charles. Hi, sisters. So anyway. <laughs> Laura Lee, Patrick Star in the house. I haven't done the whole drum opera in quite a while. Uh, ding a ling a ling, shame a ling, ding ding dong, ding. <laughs> For added effect, special effects. How's the drama drama phone? This is Peter speaking. Oh, hi, Jane, how are you? <laughs> I'm just sitting here having a gimlet, Jane. Uh, a tumbler of gimlets has been a really good day, huh? Jacqueline Hill almost hit 5 million subscribers. Oh, little punky Brewster, I love her so much. Oh, I do. I just, she's one of my favorites. I watched her from the very beginning. Well, I know she hardly ever posts anymore, about twice a year. 5 million subscribers, who knew? Well, all right, Jay, I'm going to watch it. Tick away, too. I'll see you later. So, anyway, did y'all see this? Jacqueline Hill put out something where she's like, I can't believe I'm almost at 5 million subscribers. Don't ever listen, okay? You don't ever want to put that out in the world because you don't know what's going to happen. You might lose a million subscribers overnight, as if. So anyway, anyway, let's get right into the drama that is Jacqueline Hill, shall we? All right, so I saw this go out and I was like, all right, girl, congratulations. I mean, why would you not congratulate any kind of YouTuber on getting the views, getting the subs, all that kind of stuff, right? I mean, this is the one thing I will never understand about YouTube is the competitiveness and all of that inside trickery and all this kind of stuff, right? No, and you know what's really interesting about this? I mean, seriously, what's really interesting about this is that a lot of the drama channels, like most of the drama channels, we don't fight, we share ideas with each other. I'll call it somebody, I'll be like, hey girl, what do you think about this one? Oh yeah, do that one, this is what I said in my video. No, there's no competition, but in the rest of the, in the rest of the, uh, <laughs> I think not. In the rest of YouTube, there's lots of competition, okay? You see it in the beauty, you see it in the beauty guru community, you see it in the candle review comedy, you even see it in the mommy blogger uh, community. <laughs> I cannot believe that Brittany and Baby packs her lunch like that. What's the special trick? I need to get that special trick. Let me know what the special trick is to Brittany. She can't have more views than I do. I love Brittany and Baby so much. She's like one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. So anyway, I sit there though and I watch her. Do you guys watch mommy bloggers? I watch her videos and I'm like, her kids eat 10 times healthier than I do. Oh my God. That was up on the Reddit too. People came for Bunny Graveyard Girl on Reddit for being unhealthy and not eating healthy. Leave poor Bunny alone. <laughs> She's had so much as seen on TV, she can't think straight. So anyway, um, <laughs> there's just all kinds of craziness up on the Reddit. Do you know what else is up on the Reddit? Me. I'm on the Reddit. They're talking about me over there. Not correctly, but they're talking about me. But this is the one thing. They said something to the effect of like, Oh, Peter even slammed us in a video. No, ma'am, I love the Reddit, okay? I don't really feel like the Reddit is like the other gossip streams. Like, I kind of feel like on Reddit, it's like the people over there know what they're talking about, and they do it in kind of like a somewhat constructive and respectful way. It's never like really dragging anybody. If you re do you read Reddit usually? I, you, I go to the beauty YouTuber community. I also read the mainstream and all that kind of stuff, but I do love the Reddit. And so I read it over there, and I see what people have to say and I will tell you this this is what's interesting to me okay and we're gonna get in in a second to talking about what youtubers people are unsubscribing to beauty gurus okay because I thought this was really interesting what people said that was a whole other thread on there but what's interesting to me about this is okay 
If you were a beauty guru and you wanted to really make your fans or your people happy, why would you not go read these Reddit streams and be like, uh, maybe I should take what they're saying with a you know, grain of salt and I should, well, not with a grain of salt, but you know, maybe I should listen to what they have to say and be like, okay, I'm going to you know, maybe like up my game a little bit. They think this is boring. I won't do that anymore. They think this is good. I'll do more of that. Like, If you were a beauty guru of the world, maybe you should listen to people and st Oh, but they think they're so grand, don't they, okay? We have collabs, we have... Oh, that fan went flying across the universe. And what's interesting to me about this on there, okay, is that there was a comment, and somebody said something about Bethany Moto, and they were like, what happened to her? See, your gig can be over that quick. That quick, people forget about you up on the YouTube, okay? Here's how it is on the YouTube, right? You stop posting videos, you take a little time off, and all of a sudden, people are like, oh my God, what happened, what happened, what happened, and drama, okay? A month later, everybody's like, oh, I kind of forgot what happened to that person. A year later, don't nobody care, and don't make your return, because they don't want to hear your piss-ass story about where you've been for a year anyway. That is, listen, it's a cruel gig over here, and I work my ass off. I work my ass off. That's my little reference to Hey Paula. That's where people go, you just scared my cats. I know, but they're aliens anyway, so get over it. Okay. So anyway, I went in here, and it was really interesting to me. There was a whole thread, and it says, Jacqueline Hill about to hit 5 million subscribers, even though she hardly uploads anymore. So this is, like, one of the things, the criticisms that Jacqueline Hill gets, is that she only posts, like, two to four times a month anymore. Like, she rarely ever posts, okay? And I was kind of thinking about this recently, because, you know, like, here's the thing. <laughs> My Manny videos have not been doing real well in relation to other videos that I've been posting. And I was like, that's kind of interesting to me. Like, are people losing interest in Manny Mua? Or is it that Manny Mua drama isn't really interesting unless he's tightly aligned with Jeffree Star? Okay? Manny, should have thought about that. So anyway, because... The drama, not of us, not of the drama channels, we're just saying our two cents about it. But when there's a lot of drama surrounding things, it, listen, it's the same thing when there's like hype around a movie, hype around a movie star, any of that kind of stuff, okay? That everybody wants to go see that movie all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Like if a dark horse wins at the like the Oscars, everybody wants to go see what that movie's about. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's the truth of the nature. Everybody wants to go see that movie because everybody's talking about it. it happened with Boys Don't Cry, happened with all of those movies, Monster ball back in the day all that kind of stuff right so anyway um i was thinking about this when i was reading this and i was like so if people like why are they okay with like watching or saying subscribe to her channel and how is she growing so fast but here's the deal okay jacqueline hill has kind of stayed out of the drama recently well if that were the case i guess people would probably be happy that she's out of the drama one of the things i never understand when i read these comments is like they're so tired of the drama but yet they are reading and writing all the drama like that doesn't make any sense to me i live for the drama okay somebody sent me a message and they go do you wear makeup too and i said oh no ma'am i just love the drama of the beauty community it's so much fun i love it right so anyway um but I thought, let's get on here and see what people say. And I thought people were just going to drag her to filth. No. And what's interesting about this is this. Is that whenever I'm, I'm like looking for my other fan, little do I know she's over there underneath that chair. But anyway. Um, so I, uh, whenever I go out to dinner with my girlfriends and I ask them, like, who do they watch on the YouTube? They don't say me. They should. But they don't. Uh, but I ask them, like, who are your favorite beauty gurus and stuff like that? They always say Jeffree Star and Jacqueline Hill. Jeffree Star, Jacqueline Hill, man. Anyway, but they do. And I say, what do you like about Jacqueline? They're like, oh, I've watched Jacqueline forever. I've loved her forever. Like, she does the best tutorials. When she started, she was very genuine. She was really down to earth. And honestly, they think she hasn't really changed a whole lot. They're like, she does, she knows makeup. Like, when you watch her tutorials, she knows makeup. And she does it in a way that it's easy to follow. And I'm like, is that, is, seriously, is that the case? And they're like, yes. This is where the part where the one person comes into my comment section. They go, don't always listen to what your friends have to say to you. Well, we're all allowed to have different opinions so if you have a different opinion about that and you can't stand a girl okay leave it in the comment section below because i don't really know what people do love about jacqueline hill personally she's a little boresville to me all right honestly when i watch her videos i like more the kiki laughing ha ha funny all that kind of stuff right if you ain't got a video that you're putting out about million dollar eyelashes or some shit like that I don't, i'm not really that interested okay but for most of the people out there that are watching makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, and stuff, it's because you purchase some makeup. You want to see how to apply it on your face. So I guess it would make sense that you want to go to somebody that does it right. So let me tell you what the people said in there, right? 
So the people said, underneath there, I thought this was really interesting, they said, like this was a common comment, I would rather follow Jacqueline Hill who posts two videos a month that are well done and good tutorials than some of these beauty gurus that post every day and their shit is horrible, okay? And I thought, well, that's really interesting. Or I'd rather see somebody that posts two to four times a month like Jacqueline who knows what she's talking about, talks about the, the products appropriately, is very honest, isn't doing 15 sponsored videos in a row, all this other kind of stuff. And then there was all this speculation on why isn't she posting anymore, right? And it was talking in there about like, well, she's got a lot of other forms of money and maybe YouTube isn't her gig anymore. But what was interesting about this when I went in there was that everybody was rather supportive and rather protective of Jacqueline. Like, and I think that's great, right? Like at some point, these people that are beauty gurus, and I think it is kind of very unique to that community. I mean, like, if you want to talk about just the general population of YouTube, like the Trisha Paytas's, the Shane Dawson's, the Joey Graceffa's, the Glozell Green's, the Tyler Oakley's and stuff, they're all going to step outside at some point. The Michael uh, Buckley's. Poor Michael Buckley. I mean, what happened to him? He had the finger on the pulse of everything. Millions of views. But she didn't get Kelly and Rippa or what if Kelly and Regis and whatever. And then it all felt so sad. I love Michael Buckley. What's the buck back in the day? But for a lot of those other YouTubers, like the next gig is a TV show, a reality show, or a documentary, or they do a movie, or they do a YouTube Red kind of thing. So that's their thing, right? But for beauty gurus, what would it be? And I think it would be fantastic, okay, if you did a reality show and it was like Jacqueline and Jeffrey and Manny. Can you even imagine the real beauty? That's what they would call it all day long. Put me up on that show. I want to be the one drama channel that gets to be on that show. No, can you imagine a reality show with all of us drama channels? <laughs> Flipping fans. I'd be like... That is my fan! No, it's my fan! No, that is my fan! I left it in the bathroom yesterday! <laughs> Karina in the corner dancing with her Care Bears. All of us just in the hot mess. Up in that. Can you imagine the, the Big Brother House of Drama channels? Oh my god, what a shit show we'd all be. That would be absolutely hilarious. We wouldn't none of us come out on that alive, would we? So anyway... I could go on and just really say some stuff, but I won't. Oh, my God, because we're all getting along right now, so I don't need to cause any trouble. But anyway, I mean, I can't shake nobody. It's like, listen, anytime I say anything anymore, it's like the social justice warriors of the world want to come for me, okay? Some things are just funny, and some things are just shade, okay? Like, I know the person I'm joking about with the fan. I know Rich Luck. She ain't going to be mad about it, okay? We're good Judy. She ain't going to care, all right? And the reality is... We both, oh, Amelia Fart. That was Amelia Fart more. But anyway, um, but can you imagine a reality show with all the beauty gurus? And then you have to like see the real thing. Now, I do know a little insider secret that maybe one or two of them have been approached about that in the past. And they said, uh, we don't thank you. We got our own gig. But thanks a lot. We appreciate it anyway. So anyway, but people were really, really protective of Jacqueline. And they're, they're like, listen, she's got other businesses. She's got other stuff going on. YouTube's not her only thing right now. Why can't we be supportive of that and let her post when she wants to post? That doesn't mean we're going to be like, oh, girl, you're not posting as much as you used to post. Unsubscribed. That is such a powerful word on YouTube, isn't it? Unsubscribed. Unsubscribed. We're going to talk about that in a second. Who are the most unsubscribed to beauty gurus per the Reddit stream? It was very interesting to me. So anyway... But what do you guys think about that? Like, why do you think that her channel keeps on growing? And there was one person in here in particular that had a really interesting point of view. And they said that they had just started watching Jacqueline's videos like three months ago. But they knew getting into it what it was going to be about. Because they knew who Jacqueline Hill was, being a part of the makeup community. They you know, knew her from afar. And so she went back and she like had watched a lot of her older videos. And she's like, she has really good content. Like, go back and watch her videos. Like, her videos still, they're still relevant today. So that says a lot about Jaclyn Hill as a beauty guru, you know? That her videos aren't just first impressions and, you know, like little funny ha-ha, let me paint you with a unicorn bullshit and all this kind of stuff and trends, 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 you know, paint me with a squishy and all that stuff. Did she do that video? She probably did and everybody will be like, she did that video and I'll be like, well, I'm an idiot, aren't I? But anyway, you know what I mean? Like most of her earlier videos were like more trend videos that are important. It's like Nikki Tutorials and her power of uh, makeup, power of beauty makeup. I mean, power of beauty. Yeah, heard that video? I mean, that video is a legacy on YouTube. And it always will be, right? <laughs> Except for Amy Slayton's is 10 times better. But 
So that was really interesting to me. So I would just like to say, you ain't there yet, gal, okay? You just aren't. But she's almost there. I will tell you where she's at right now because I just pulled it up on the social blade. Jacqueline Hill currently is at 4,997,867 subscribers on the YouTube. So, Jacqueline, let me be the first to entertain you. No, let me be the very first person because I'm going to be in Miami when it happens. Let me be the very first person to congratulate you on 5 million subscribers. I think that is fantastic. I think that's cool. I think that's awesome. Continue to do your gig, girl. And never forget that you can use your platform for some really powerful shit. 5 million people is a lot of people out there. So be careful what you say to the world. Okay, let's talk about the beauty gurus that people are unsubscribing to because this was a video on here or this was a Reddit thread that I thought was very, very interesting, okay? Now, Toddy, she got a lot of names up there. I mean, they've worked Toddy, 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 Hot Toddy, Toddy, Toddy. And it's all about the vitamins. Everybody's all upset about the, type, the vitamins. But before that, they said they were bored with her gig anyway. They're like, no, I'm kind of bored with her gig. Somebody in there said something that she said to her husband about that's weird or something like that about some TV show he says he watches. Oh, he watches ASMR videos. And she goes, that's weird. And they unsubscribed over that. Really, girl? Seriously? And this is the weird thing. Like, I didn't really know this until I got into YouTube. Like, I'm just not that fickle with my subscribers, okay? Like, I'm not, like... If I watch somebody's like five minutes of their video and I kind of like him, I subscribe. You know, that's the truth of the nature all day long. Apparently, Glitter Forever 17 has gone and told the world that she knows I watch her videos and she knew that I was going to make, well, yes, girl, I watch your videos. How do you think I do my research? Yes, I'm subscribed to your channel. I'll own it all day long. I, I don't care. Why would I not admit to that? I'm, I subscribe to everybody, okay? Because when shit comes up my feed, I want to see it. <laughs> I love it. I love YouTube, okay? So for all of us out there, or all, I didn't, I've never done this, okay, that act like you don't subscribe to somebody. That's a lie strike from the pit of hell. Like, oh, I don't subscribe to her. Yes, you do, girl. Yes, you do. You got your subscriptions hidden. We know. So anyway, but I watch everybody, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, okay, because I think everything's fun. Well, I mean, there might be one or two people I would never... <laughs> in a million, trillion, trillion, billion years, billion, ever subscribe to, ever, 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 <laughs> ever, to mirrors with infinity, ever. So anyway, um, <laughs> but the rest of people, like if I watch them for five seconds and I like them, I hit subscribe. It's just not that big of a deal to me. And then other people are like, well, I watched you for six months and I finally decided that I would subscribe. And I'm like, okay. And then I get other messages and people are like, well, um, you know, I, I just can't anymore because, you know, and I'm just like, I mean, it's just, it's, the subscriber unsubscribe thing is too much for me. It's free. Subscribe to everybody, right? Go follow, sub subscribe to Jacqueline Hill if you don't because listen, okay, she needs to hit that 5 million so she can come out and say that she did it on Twitter because she already kind of said it. <laughs> so anyway. But these are the people that, uh, up on the Reddit, that they said that they had unsubscribed to, okay? Toddy got a lot of them. I was real surprised about that. Well, not really, okay? Nikki Tutorials got cut quite a few. Now, you would have thought it would have been the Jeffries and the Mannies and the Laura Lees. No. Laura Lee, I don't think her name even was on there one time. And it was like a, it was like a thread of like 150 comments on there, okay? But let me tell you the big ones, okay? Thomas Albert. Baby, people are not happy with you. They think you're negative, Thomas. So go over, read the Reddit thread, listen to what the people are saying. These are people that used to like you. Most of the people were like, I love Thomas Albert, but I don't love him anymore. I thought he was a fresh voice in the makeup community, but he's so negative over and over and over again. That's what people say. And then, oh, my Lord. What did I just hit? People come for that thrift thick left and right. My God. My God. My God. People come. Augusta, sweetheart, save some room for girl. That's my Nikki tutorials. Love her though, I do. I love the penis island. Why'd she ever take that down? It's so fantastic. She should have put that on her Patreon. <gasps> so anyway, um, but Thomas Albert people don't like thrift thick people really came for, okay? And then the one that baffled my mind, and I want to hear what people have to say about this in the comment section is, people were like not happy with Raw Beauty Christie, and I did not understand it. They're like, she takes the Twitter too much, blah, 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 whatever, and some of her, it's just like, it was, I was really surprised. Y'all know, okay, I am a Raw Beauty Christie diehard super fan. I will tell you what I believe a little bit of it is, okay? 
is that I think that a lot of us out there that are super fans of YouTubers, we really like somebody when they're kind of smaller and they're growing and you see that they're just like completely genuine, 100%, and they're like, yeah, fuck this, flip a fan, you know, good, good Judy this and all this kind of stuff. And then you come back to the Peter Mon channel two years down the road and it's like, well, today when I was on the phone, boys and girls, you know what I mean? It's like, and then you're like, oh no, this ain't her. And it's like, as people get bigger and bigger and bigger, you're like, oh, they changed. I can't follow them. And a lot of them change and a lot of them don't. A lot of people don't change. People just say they did, right? So it's like, it's interesting to me what people all of a sudden are saying that they don't like about her anymore. But I love her. I eat, Listen, I was going to say I eat her up all day long. No, don't go there with your dirty thoughts. Anyway, I do. I love Robbie D. Christie. And, uh, and, you know, like two people on there said Jackie Ina, and I'm like, I love Jackie Ina too. It's like the more people I find that I like and the ones I don't like anymore are the ones of the people over there. But y'all have watched them longer than I have, so that's probably part of it anyway too, don't you think? So I want to know in the comment section below, who do you, un who, would you, who have you or who would you unsubscribe to that's a beauty guru that you're just kind of like, at this point, I'm over, I can't do it anymore. Oh, this is what they said about Nikki Tutorials, that the pictures that she posts on Instagram, the looks that she does, are extremely interesting and they love it, all the spaced out university kind of bullshit. But what they don't like about her is that when you go over to her videos, they're just very basic videos of tutorials. Nikki Tutorials. <laughs> I do like her, though. She's in my drama opera. Why wouldn't I? Any, anyway, what do you guys think about that? Who would you unsubscribe to? Leave it in the comment section below. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.